Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Melissa and we talk about all things plants, dead plants too. <laughs> or maybe thrip infested plants. Today's video, like you saw in the title, we are <laughs> grabbing a monstera I threw in the river months ago because it had thrips and seeing what's going on with it. Will I be able to bring it back to life? Are there a million bugs on it? Uh, is it still alive? It kind of looks alive as you're gonna see in the next clip. So let's jump into it and let's go. We're not going swimming. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's cold. We're just gonna grab it. <laughs> see if I can zoom in a bit, but he's like, it's right there. <laughs> and like, it still has that leaf attached. So it fell over, but you can also see the roots there. So we're gonna dig it out or just grab it and see if it'll grow back. <laughs> We could just put it in like a big thing of like a vase, cut the leaves off, and then see if it grows. Cause that would be like the craziest thing ever. So it's been in the water for two months or But are the roots if the roots aren't like rotten, I'll cut all the leaves off. It's uh got all kinds of weird little jelly creatures and snails growing on it. See, look at all the snails. Oh my god. The snails have made homes here. Okay, maybe not. See all the snails? Oh uh, yeah. There's lots of like, you're even on. The leaves. The leaves. But it's still, I think this is still alive. Yeah, but then we're gonna have snails. It is alive. Like these roots are actually beautiful. Like. Really, it was like water propagating this whole time. Look, it's growing a new leaf there. Ah! <laughs> that is hilarious. The crazy thing is that like it's been like minus like five, six, seven in the past like week or two, and it's clearly survived. I just can't get over this. So I think I'm gonna try to revive it, cut off all of this these leaves, um, try to get rid of snails. <laughs> Look, there's little bugs leeching away, hey? Yeah, that's kind of gross. And here they are. Look. Oh, yeah. Are those thrips? Are they still here? Those are like some sort of... Worms. I don't know. Kind of gross. But I mean, whatever. Like, well, uh, like it's just... Look, there's lake... lots of them falling off. Like, it's just lake water. It's not like... We're not even, like, river water. Mm -hmm. Like, we swim in here. We're not gonna... What should, what should we do? Well, you should uh, try growing it and quarantining it. Look, it's all filled with worms throughout, eh? There's just so many. The whole soil, everything's worms. There, it's it's an insect of some sort. Is it a plant insect or a lake insect? I think it's a river insect, to be quite honest. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Or what do you think I'm going to do? Let me know in the comment section. But Here, let's turn it and we'll we can look at some more bugs. I don't really want to look at more bugs, but the snails are okay because snails are cool, but I don't know. Stay tuned. It has been about, I don't know, two hours and we just had this sitting in a pail and a lot of the snails just kind of like popped off on their own. And probably and some of the other bugs. Some of the other weird, ew. Yeah, you can see some of the, <laughs> the bugs, but we're still going to give it a wash and use some insect spray on it right now. We'll probably do this a couple times. So we'll do this, we'll cut all, off all of the leaves, throw it in some water, and then maybe ne leave it for a week, and the next week we'll probably do the same thing, just to get rid of any, any like babies that could have hatched, like these little worms, you can still, still see them. All right, so we're just gonna put some uh, liquid plant food into the water, just to encourage it a little bit to, to be a little bit more happier. And some fresh water, rain water that is. And we will hope for the best. 
Stay tuned to see if this guy comes back to life. This is a two week update on my Monstera. I was not out here last weekend, but David told me that it smelled like literal grossness in here. So there's that. Um, but other than that, it's still alive. Um, I'm sure there's still some bugs in there. The water does smell rank. It all honestly smells like, I don't know, like it gross. <laughs> so I'll probably switch out the water. There is like some growth here. I can't remember if this was already there, but there's no like significant new growth. Although, like I said, we'll uh, we'll keep on keeping on. Hey guys, quick little update on Mr. Monstera. So it has literally been a few weeks since the last time that you saw me on this video, and we have some fun uh, little updates. So let's let's turn the camera around. So it's been sitting in this uh, bucket of water. We do just change the water often, but look at this. This is brand new leaf. There is another leaf popping out there. Uh, this one kind of looks sad. I'll probably cut these two off. But other than that, like, I'm very, very impressed. Um, there seems to be some uh, new growth there and maybe over there. But very impressed with our uh, lovely plant that we saved from the frozen lake. <laughs> So I'll see you guys in another couple weeks. Hi guys, so I have another update on the Monstera and today I'm actually gonna be potting it. <laughs> I cannot believe how crazy this whole Monstera experience, experiment has gone. Shuck. So I'm gonna show you right away what it looks like, but um, yeah, I'm super excited. There's leaves on it, it's healthy. I basically had it, here, I'll flip you guys around. So this is what it looks like today. It is March, I don't know, 3rd or 4th. Look at this leaf. There's a leaf to unfurl here. There is a leaf to unfurl down here. There are so many different growth points. And this is basically the chonk. The roots still look fairly healthy. So today I'm gonna to be potting it up into a pot with soil. I think that it is time for it to be potted up. I can't believe that this came back from what it was at the beginning of this video um, so I guess this is the end of this video if you want to keep seeing how this guy's doing uh, definitely go follow me over on my Instagram because I'll probably be posting updates over there uh, link is always in the bio but yeah let's pot this baby up